Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Eden Destination Roulette where I try to win as many runs as possible with Eden while going to randomized locations. Today I'm bringing you a fairly unassuming start but as you saw from the thumbnail you can probably guess that this is going to get absolutely out of hand. This start is actually a bit funny and nostalgic for me too because with the headband and the low tier rate and two hearts this reminded me a lot of Samson in Flash Isaac. But either way this was a really interesting one because the start was fairly challenging and the end was absolutely ridiculous so make sure to watch this one to the end and as always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't even work the same way it worked in Flash Isaac. The item that I'm thinking of is called Lusty Blood as of Rebirth. But hey, I mean, Bloody Lust is still a solid item once we get a bit of a health in health engine going. Uh oh, what is this, dude? Okay, we're fine. That was a lot. That looked a lot scarier than it ended up being. Thanks to Blue Baby's only friend. Uh. What's in here? Oh! Seven cent member card. I'm going to regret this. Keeper sack for 49 cents. Little plum. I'm just gonna use Blue Baby's only friend for most of it. That's this arena is actually a bit scary. I, this is definitely doing more damage. And problem is a lot of the time I can't even hit that. There we go. Alright, screw for some tier rate. I did complain mine was low, so... No regrets here. That's a low price. Curse of the blind! I might actually be desperate enough to go into the item room and take a blind item. Doo -doo -doo. Man, this run would be so much better if we actually started with Lusty Blood instead of Bloody Lust. Ooh, look, we're gonna go back for that. Dang it. I was too focused on my blue fly up there. I need to be careful. Okay, uh... I think I'd rather have the occasional bouncy tier instead of the thing that doesn't do anything until Womb and Corpse. Bouncy tiers are pretty good. This golden penny is super nice considering we have member card. I should really open that. Quarter? Oh, hell yeah. I I think I'm desperate enough to go to the secret uh, to the item room, sorry. That sucks. Huh. Huh. <laughs> this is a problem. This run is so irritating. Actually, I have Blue Baby's friend. Where's that guy? There. Something still alive up there. Hello? Two bombs. Hmm. Didn't rock. Nice. Okay, much better. Much better. I'm I'm just gonna be the cheeser here. <laughs> Let's play it safe, ladies and gents. Yeah, uh, I'm... I'm desperate enough. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh. 
That's really good. Okay, uh, even if I find another key, I'm definitely not going to go to the store because first of all, I'm definitely not desperate anymore now. And second of all, I, I really want to make use of that member card and I can't do that on Cards of the Blind. Is it cheesing when you use what the game gave to you? Not really, no. I use the term cheesing very loosely there. Very loosey-goosey. Can I? I can totally do that, right? Okay, sweet. Well, I wasn't gonna go to a devil deal, but I might actually now. Alright, I, I just sacrificed that for the brittle bones proc, obviously. Don't 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 no You jerk Lunch Do we YOLO it or do we just go for an angel room? Let's YOLO it. Oh It's the ultimate quality for chat. You know what? You know what? You know what? Somebody in chat told me. Oh, it's a Mega Satan run. <sighs> That's okay. We have brittle bones. We're just gonna do a curse room. <laughs> Somebody in chat told me that that thing is a guaranteed win. Not in chat, on YouTube. That that thing is a guaranteed win. So let's figure that out. I need another key. I'm gonna find another key, right? Hi. It's okay. I have so many, so many hearts. All I need to find is a... What's it called? I was so preoccupied with not dying on these first few floors that I totally forgot about the run objective. Well, that's fine. I have locked myself into devil deals and in worse positions and prevailed. So it's okay. Hey, to play. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cooking, cooking. Bailed out. <laughs> I I planned for that, of course. You guys couldn't see it coming because you aren't as great of Isaac players as I am, but I knew the member card had my back. Video title Blue Baby's only friend cheesing delirium for five minutes. I don't think five minutes would be enough. One hundred percent luck, zero percent skill. Well, you know what they say about luck, right? Skill is when luck becomes a habit. See, there's the sack room. We had nothing to fear, chat. I could have gotten it right here, right now. No one says that. There's a German saying that says that. I say it. I said it just now. You can't say nobody says that when I just said it. Satanic Bible, this is your first moment to shine. Show me what you got. 
you you know there's a lot of responsibility that rests on your shoulders right now right people keep telling me that you're great the game tells me you're great by making you quality four you have a lot to prove satanic bible Satanic Bible, what you got for me? I mean, I could do it with that too, but I want to take that. Also, that could have been like something useful instead of a garbage item. Um, I, I don't even want to take that. We have the angel thing. Three saves now in one floor and you guys were worried, seriously. I don't even want that. I just want devil deals and they're already locked in. I do want to find the seed room though, because all the S tier items in that angel shop are going to cost 30 cents and I have 20. That gets me angel deals? Well, so does the ladder that I already picked up. Yeah, you can get key pieces in the angel shop, you can just blow up the statue in there. Oh, 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 copy piece. Do I want the dead cat? Actually, dead cat doesn't get rid of the bone hearts, right? But it's literally just going to give me art container and nine lives if I get a dead cat from this gentleman. From this gentle pride. And now I can't even refuse the dead cat. <laughs> All right. As long as props remembers to save a bomb. We're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. I also, I'm going to get an angel job every single floor from now on. I get like seven shops and I need two bombs. Chill, chat. Not even I can mess this up. Oh, I love you. I have to take you with me. Hey everyone, this is your secret call out of the day. If you made it this part in the video, let me know in the comments by telling me you're part of the Prism Gang. Also, let me know in the comments which kinds of runs do you prefer. The ones like this one where I mess up on my run goal and have to try my hardest to redeem myself. Looking at you, Mega Satan. Or do you prefer runs that don't tend to go off the rails? As always, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like and a sub. Prism is better with tech though. I mean... And noodles are better with sauce. Like, what's your point? problem is I now have member card and the angelic ladder and I definitely can't make enough money to uh, support myself through both of these shopping experiences so I'm not 100% sure what to do at this point with my money but I guess we'll just decide that as we go along right oh well there's a lot of money okay maybe I can support myself through these two shops <laughs> I made a vow to test if the Bible is good. I'm gonna think about that because I feel like that could actually be bonkers with all the money spending opportunities we have in this run. Oh, 
All right, what's in here? Okay, I'm actually A-OK -okay with that because that's going to give me money and if I'm lucky, a Steam Cell. Sorry, I mean if I'm skillful. Okay, I'm not skillful apparently. All right, what's in here? Pandora's box and fear shot. I mean, I could use the damage, but I think I have better uses for my money than either of these. You know what they say, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're bad. Jokes on year one, both. Although my item room is probably, not even probably, my, my item room is definitely the least spectacular room in this entire run. My boss room gives me a devil item. My starting room has the angel shop. I have the member card for the secret stores. Man. I want to use that, but I also want to want to give the satanic bible a chance to prove itself. No, this is this is Satanic Bible's run. This is this is the Satanic Bible's run. This is Satanic Bible's chance to prove itself. Really, Ragman and Golden Hollow. can get that for free, but I would have to drop my Bible. So, so far, the Satanic Bible has given me a bunch of black hearts, which is nice, and it has also cost me two boss room items. Ooh. Okay. Now that was pretty good. Does that trinket work with the Satanic Bible boss item? Yup. I didn't know that either, <laughs> but we saw it now. All right. Uh, I have a bomb for the angel shop. I have 65 cents, so I can buy the godhead that's about to pop up. Godhead Sacred Heart, both in one room. Let's go. Oh, I'll buy a, I'll buy a guardian angel. That, that's pretty dope. We have the key, no problem. Nobody was ever worried that was gonna happen. I mean, seriously, did you ever consider I would not be able to assemble the full key? I mean, I'll take a free heart, I guess. five cents on one of those but if i get it for free sure oh 
wrecked. That's okay. Mom's wig. That's a good one. Oh. That's a good one. I like mom's wig. I don't really see how you wouldn't like that item. Just a bunch of free damage. Broken modem. That's where the... The opinions split. Some people love that thing. Some people don't. I'm one of the ones that don't. I want to see the secret room if I can help it. I don't need to save bombs anymore. It erases bullets, yeah, but not like on purpose. <laughs> you still gotta dodge everything because you don't know if and when it disappears. Delirium is on the roulette. What the heck is this? Eh, let's just leave. Hey, watermelon, welcome. higher your luck the more stuff it erases but you still don't know ahead of time when and what it's gonna erase so you still gotta treat every bullet like it's gonna relentlessly come for you and the fact that it randomly makes enemies stop short is not as much of an advantage as people think all right i i accept this one I don't know if Adept's one goathead is better than a random boss item. It probably is. Adept's two is where I'd probably draw the line. Adept's two, you can't get it, so the next one would be Womb One. And a Womb One goathead is definitely worse than a random boss item. Alright, at least, at least we got the good one here. Imagine if you took that duality. Though I'd get a bunch of angel rooms. I, I get them here too. Hey! Oh, that's Eden Soul. I, I can never tell that apart from Star of Bethlehem. <laughs> I want Eden Soul. I want, the, I want the book to prove itself. I feel like those angel shops haven't really provided me with anything yet, either. Do I go in there? I can get more money here. I still get a lot of angelic shops. Why not? Why not? Prism was worth. Actually, Prism was very worth. That's true. Hey, move speed. Booyah. Gotta find my move speed somewhere if I can't rely on boss rooms to give it to me. Go here first because the Prism is aligned better. Besides that key that is required for your destination. Hey, I could have taken this run to Delirium, I'm sure. At 22 minutes in depth through. Alright, it's here. Hi! Tech X Prism Coal. Oh my god. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. I love it! Land card. Kind of useless.
I mean, I mean, I mean. Soul of the Keeper. I mean, I was gonna pick that up so it's out of the angel pool. I'm not sure that's gonna do a lot. I will bomb myself here though, so I can pick up that soul heart for the stat increase. I forgot to mention Incubus. Yeah, sure, I forgot. Okay, I want to pick that up too for the 0.07 tier right and the little bit of lust. Uh, we've seen the store, we've seen the item room, and this is a Mega Satan run, so honestly, I can just move on. Okay, it's dark room, so I take this. Feels unfair. But also, like, Maw of the Void Tech X is kind of awkward, so I think I'm gonna forego that. Like, it's really not that great. I'm gonna take Gimpy, though. Because Gimpy makes Soul Hearts drop, and there's actually Soul Locket uh, synergy. Look at that. Look at that synergy. <gasps> it's Breath of Life, chat. I really don't think I need to buy that. That's essentially just the heart. Oh, no soul hearts. Mo and Tech X have a bug together. You can't fire the first Tech X as you enter the room. It's delayed. Wow, that's wow. I didn't know that. I need to science that. Pretty annoying. Well, I mean, again, I don't actually think more is that great with Tech X. Because you pretty much never want to fully charge Tech X anyway, right? You just want to spam tap it. So they get into each other's way. They're pretty annoying for each other. Sure, I'll, I'll count that as a net positive. Oh, conjoin. Okay, that's definitely a net positive then. I could take Judas' Shadow, but I actually have to get the entire... Um, I, have to, I have to go through the entire Dead Cat if I want to pop that, so... Breath of Bog. Hey, Mysterium, thank you. 15 cent item. Star of Bethlehem! Hell yeah! Let's go, little star. Wait, what? Hello? Oh, there. Wait, what? Why is it there? <laughs> There's no way it actually... Wait, maybe if you're in the angel shop, it thinks you're at the end of the floor and speeds up. Maybe that's how it... I would cover that distance in such a short amount of time. Yeah, so it probably just speeds away from me. Okay. Star of Bethlehem is kind of hype, but I actually don't think it's going to have much of an impact on the run because my room clear is just too good. I don't need to wait for that thing. So, to summarize, the Satanic Bible has just flat out cost me two boss items, and then it replaced my Depths one item with the goat head which has so far led to gimpy so it essentially cost me three boss items so far and then it gave me a rotten baby which that's pretty solid i'm a, I'm a fan of that but so far it also gave me a, a boatload of black hearts right like you gotta give credit where credit is due but, like, would I need those black hearts if I found all those boss items? I, I don't know if I would have. I, I don't know, man. I just don't see the tier 4. Like, it's literally worse than Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations would have given me a bunch of meat cubes in the meantime. And those are bananas. <laughs> like, 
How is this item considered quality four? I just don't see it. Why? Do I need that? I've started Bethlehem. <laughs> I think I'd rather save my money and try to find, get lucky on the next floor. I mean, Star of Bethlehem is just going to show me what way to go to, right? Dude, it goes so fast. Wait, what? It went left, right? I didn't just imagine that. Did I, did I just... Was that a fever dream? Did it not go left? I get another angel drop on the next floor, yeah. It did go left. Where? How far did it get? Jesus, Star of Bethlehem, calm down. Jesus Christ! It slows down too when you're behind it, so it covered most of that distance just while I was in that room. Are you good, Star? <laughs> like, are we good here? Oh, there's a soul heart. Hold on, I want the soul heart. I have soul locket. Yeah, point two damage. Very important. All right, good fight. Star wants to finish this run so it can't go home. Well, then I have good news for you because Star of Bethlehem got buffed in a recent patch to go into the Mega Satan door. If that opens. Wow, what a bunch of hard garbage. Even with, even with Satanic Bible removing a bunch of trash from the Devil Pool, I still don't get anything here. Oh, man. I mean, Seraphim's okay. Seraphim's a good boy. All right, let's go. Hard fight. Dude, it's about to get even harder. Does it do U-turn and go back? I'm pretty sure it does. Because it, it started moving towards the lamp at first, right? And only U-turned after the key actually hit the door. So I'm assuming if you, if you find Dad's key somewhere on the floor, it's gonna go. It's gonna go back. Mm, it's gonna be a tough fight, Chad. I'm not sure I can do this one. Toughest Mega Satan fight of my life. Oh, my prism is in the line, so this is gonna take like 10 seconds instead of 5. Whoa, that was tough. Almost lost that, man. We're just gonna ignore that. GG.